Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited to be making another home renovation video. I'm going to be making a Japanese onsen style bathroom. Let's get right into it. So here we go. I'm just surveying the scene right here. And first, let's choose a nice wall and floor combo. The floor here I use, but actually the wall that I'm picking here is not what I use in the final piece, but hey ho! <laughs> and first I need to decide between the two different onsen style baths. And I decide to go for the stone one because it just, it just goes with the flooring so well. And I decide to put all of the things that I'm thinking of using in this build in the center of the room so that I can just see what they look like in the real world, in the real room. Um, that little corner area is supposed to be like in a real onsen. You would have a little changing area before the main bath, the communal bath. And now I'm deciding whether to have a toilet or a sauna area. So for now, I'm just going to put those two in the corner and that's a decision for future Charlotte. And I actually got the shelves that you see there, the bamboo shelves from Nukazon. I've been trading on there a lot recently, actually. And I've met so many nice people on there. Anyway, back to the build. And my nemesis, mats. <laughs> I like to use mats to section off spaces, but I just don't have enough variety of mats to make, really make it work. And my other nemesis, my, I would say arch nemesis, walls. <laughs> I'm just so bad at arranging things on walls. But you know what? That's why I'm doing this home renovation series to get better at it. So you can hopefully watch me improving at it or just frustrating you. I can't guarantee which way it'll go. I'm choosing a lot of little things to decorate, just give those final touches. I'm really liking the burnt bamboo look because it's just a little bit shiny, but also nice dark color. Does anyone know what those bamboos are for in that little basket? I was trying to work it out. I put it by the entrance, but I was like, what? why would you need bamboo on the way in? What would it be for? I'm very practically minded, you see. So as you can see, I've got some large items to put on the wall and I'm just displaying them all so that I can get a good idea and accidentally changing the <laughs> lighting there. If I had more space, I would like to add some more lights to this area. So maybe I'll tweak that at a later date. So with these Imperial shelves, I spent a long time deciding between the red and the brown because the brown just didn't pop to me, but the red just seemed a little bit off in this whole room design. I love hanging plants. I wish there were more hanging plants in the game because they're just so pretty. <laughs> in fact, I wish my real house had more hanging plants. I don't think it has a single one. So as I said before, I'm just learning as I go, fiddling around with a lot of things that probably won't end up where they are right now, but it's all about learning. It's all about getting better. If you have any tips for me with, uh, if there's any, you know, hard and fast rules with, for in, within interior design that you guys know, or articles you could send me on this kind of thing, I'd really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm thinking that this looks quite nice as is, but then I decide, what if I try a different wall? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I really like this wall and think it looks really good. So now I need to redo all the things that are hanging on the walls. Yippee, <laughs> even more practice for me. So I really can't decide which side to section off with the mat or whether to have it as an entrance because I really think it makes a big difference where you put that mat. And I decide I like that plant there. And now is the big decision. Do I keep the toilet or the steamer? Stay tuned to find out. So I'm doing a lot of work on the washroom area because I just think that the color of the wardrobe is, and the rattan stuff is just a little bit off it's just not quite the same brown as everything else we already have a couple of browns in there already and because it's Japanese onsen and in a usual Japanese onsen you would have a shower that's you know lower to the ground you sit down and you wash yourself sat down that's why I put the shower so low in that area Uh, I also decided to change the colour of that clock because again I thought that the brown didn't quite go with the wall. Now gold or silver? I think gold goes better with the theme but because I only have that one towel rack I decided to go with the silver. And then yeah I just wasn't happy. I'm just not happy with that area. So I think, what else could I put there instead of those things? So I come to the realization I have a lot of Japanese clothes and in an onsen, usually not in the bath area, but before you get into the bath area, you wear a yukato, a light kimono. So I thought, why not have it a bit like a coat rack? And why not add that stool that I was talking about in the shower. So I really decided to completely rework that area. And as you can see, the toilet one, by the way. So I decided to make it more of a kind of, just an area where you can sit, and get changed in a kind of more relaxed area. I try to add as many bamboo things as I can. <laughs> it just seems too crowded. I kind of wish I'd done this in one of the bigger rooms so that I'd have more space to work with. And I add another yukata. Just because I felt that it really completed the area. It made it feel a little bit more full without it feeling crowded. And just the final touches now. I can never decide whether I want to use symmetry or asymmetry in my designs. Again, where do the mats go? I made one more of these dark bamboo rugs. See how I liked it. And I 
try this small green bathroom mat. I liked the colour actually, but it just, there was nowhere it really fit. And again, I quite liked where those two were just then in the centre. But I ended up just liking it like this. So this is my finished room. I hope this video gave you some ideas for your own house. Let me know what you would have done differently down in the comments. And for the next room, I'm totally open to suggestions. What kind of theming or room type would you like to see? And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.